Good morning. What's up, y'all? This is Frost, and uh, I'm playing High Descent. Yeah. Wiltshire, season 144, day number four. This is the day where people start to really kind of mess shit up, and uh, I thought it'd be good to do a video to kind of walk you through what I do. That's not to say I won't screw up either, uh, but either way, it'll be a learning experience. So um, just to kind of go through things today, I'm going to go through my spies, build myself an attack list, execute, and then maybe perhaps talk a little bit about attack selection. I know that I've had a few DMs with other players. Um, I kind of just want to talk a little bit about what it takes to make the right selection. Because as you know, attack selection is a critical foundation of HD. Um, you can't get nobility points if you're losing, right? So anyway, I'm just going to go through my recent happenings real quick. We've got uh, today, we've got Marduk attacked me in a stalemate. I think I saw him post about that on Discord. I'll take a look into that battle script and see what went on there. I don't know who the fuck this is. This looks like some sort of like Smurf alt multi account of some type. Uh, <laughs> cunning cantaloupe. I love the alliteration. Good job, bud. And uh, Derek doing what he does. Let's just farm the shit out of me in the beginning of every season. Uh, so let's actually take a look at the Marduk battle log before I get into anything. To do that, let's look at Marduk himself. Where is he? This is probably not the best way to do it at this point in the season. I'll just uh, spy him right from his page here. So, okay, so he attacked me. He's got a Brave and a Page set up. Same mercs as I do, except different applications. So he's running a defensive page. Uh, probably because there's so many attacking mounted out there. And then he's got himself um, a Brave as well. It's very agile. So... Immediately, my mind thinks, okay, they probably, and you, you haven't seen my stats yet, so you wouldn't know, and I'll, and I'll go to that in a second, but I'm thinking that this guy countered my attacking mount, and then this guy failed to counter my brave, and that's why there was a stalemate. And I'm wondering, like, I, I think that he probably attacked me with this level of damage, so I'll show you what I mean. So if I go to my spy here, um, let's do it from here. So if you look at my mercs here, I got 68 defense. I've got 22 agility, minus two speed, and this. So yeah, the way I looked at this battle, I've got a very fast mount with a lot of health. And if he attacked me, I'm going to look at the log in a minute. But I would bet that this was countered and that he could not counter this to death. And with my piddly 16 damage, I wasn't going to counter him either. Um, just for those who don't know, and this was something that um, we learned a long, long time ago. So counters do work as a form of offense in HD, but it's important to make sure that the mercenary that's countering has enough damage on it to inflict on the opposing mercenary. So typically I want to have um, more than say half of the amount of the mercenary i'm trying to counter and what i mean by that is when i look at marduk's spy and i look at my spy he had 35 damage on his brave and i'm betting any money that he attacked with that amount of damage the reason i say that is because he was going up against 68 defense so while the counters probably took place they would probably be for very minimal damage which would extend the battle script and create the stalemate and so I don't think that was necessarily the best attack to do at that time. He probably could have killed me later in his attacks if he had um, more counter damage on his brave. And I think that's something that anybody who runs two counter mercs to start any season needs to consider going forward. So let's take a look at the battle script here. Um, I know how these went already because I know what mercs they have. All right. So Marduk and Frost, here we go. Um, Immediately, I've lost 50, so there's the counter. There's another counter. And it's just black lines because it's my page with 30 speed. So he's just countering the crap out of me. And I'm doing very minimal damage, as I should. He's got me covered defense to my damage. And so there's the counter there, line 46. HD Amnesia is dead. And 
uh, now this leaves this one on one battle. So if we look at the script here, um, counter brave manages to attack my brave, hitting him for one damage. So it's exactly what I just said. The counter worked, but he didn't have enough damage to really make an impact. One damage, literally one. Um, here's another one. Counter, Marduk takes advantage of I, bra I have. Hitting him for three damage. Counter absorbs the full blow. Counter absorbs the full blow. So, yeah, like... This to me says that he attacked me with just not enough counter damage. So in the future, when you're when you're running, especially with dual counter mercs, it's really important to make sure that you have the requisite damage to get it done. Like I know how the rest of this goes already. Absorbs a full blow, absorbs a full blow, um, absorbs a full blow. Like there's oh, there's some damage here. So we went from 121 to 100. So counter, this is for 20 damage. Then there's another one for one. So he just wasn't able to counter me to death quick enough before the stalemate kind of came into play. So um, the 417 lines. Yeah, I see another one. I had 23 HP left. That sucks. That sucks, Marduk. I'm sorry that happened to you, man. But just watch your damage next time. I think you really need to have more on that if you're going to attack with that intention. Cool. Well... I hate stalemates. They sully my record. I'd rather it just be wins and losses. But uh, I guess I'll have that stalemate on my record for this entire season. So let's look into my targets and let's see what I need to do to beat them. By nine attacks. And on day four, everyone's worth like 28 points is the maximum target's worth. So the most I can make would be 252, right? Because it's, yeah, 280 minus 28 is uh, 252. So that's the, that's the goal. That's the target today. I myself have maxed out so far this season and as have many others. It's really great to see. So 252 is the total. What can I do to get there? Who do I need to kill to make that happen? So let's go through the spy here and build a list. So literally just this is me just playing hd raw this is not rehearsed this is just me clicking around as if uh you guys aren't here so like aoba's got a defensive bow and a tavern fighter so with this setup he's probably looking to kill grinders he might be able to kill some um some braves that aren't equipped like i think of the maltese immediately they probably aren't equipped today on their melee they probably have a pretty decent mount though but this bow looks like it could hold it off. Um, and it's funny, actually, because so there's a very much a game of like rock, paper, scissors here where the, um, the knife men can destroy the braves, the axemen destroy the knife men, and the whips destroy the axes. And back in the day, people actually used to run attacking guards, and I think they would run them until like a level 11, sorry, not 11, level 9 or level 13, maybe level 13. I'm trying to remember. But uh, <laughs> as strong as you can be early in the game, you become fodder very quickly. So it's, it's something that we have to look into uh, as we develop the game further, just what we can do to make swords better. But uh, we'll just continue to go through some targets here. It's rail. He usually goes grinder, right? Yeah, he went grinder again. Low agility, decent HP. See, there's that counter damage there. So um, as rail could, if, let's say he had a defensive page like marduk did this would kill me because he's got 52 counter damage so when i'm attacking with bad accuracy and he counters me that 52 is much better than 35 that 52 in fact should counter anything up to roughly twice its size so roughly 100 105 104 actually to be precise uh, defense so this could kill me for sure i would not attack this not at this point. Um, I think I need to equip some more stuff onto my brave before I think about anything like that. These are the guys here. This is sort of like a Mark Covenant. Uh, I picked on them yesterday, and I'm hoping to do the same today. But let's see what they've got. There's a lot of copy paste here. So Burko, 
183, 58, 42 accuracy. And yeah, naked, brave. So exists. Um, so like in this case here, he has no defense and he's got less HP. And when I look at my setup, right, my setup, I have much less accuracy than he does. I have more HP and I've got a lot more speed. And so what I'm hoping is that I can, again, like I said last season with the whole tribo thing, can I dominate the script with my level of damage versus the defense? I should be able to get first hit. If I'm not able to, I've allocated to HP to sort of like um, provide extra insurance, if you will. So that's sort of the strategy I have building my mount. And this is not something I would do on a permanent mount. This is just a tool I'm using to get to buy level nine as soon as I can with the salary, though. Which reminds me, yeah, there it is right there. 1328 to start. That's lovely. Um, thanks again for Shard for pointing out in my last video that uh, I actually should have waited until I hit rank five to apply that point. So I would have gotten more gold in real time. I did not think of that. So, uh, you know, shout out to you, champ. Um, Iman Elbon. Oh, this is a great target. Look at that. Level eight beadsman. It's got 60 damage, 11 accuracy. Poor guy. 12 agility, 7.6 speed. So the reason why this is a good target is because I'm running a counter brave and rogues are um, very effective against Davesmen. And I've got this level of defense and I've got this level of agility. So this will be a, a certain attack. In fact, this might be my first attack today. Um, Gia, let's see, copy paste more or less, a little slower, a little less health. So this might be, I might attack him before I attack a Burko, for example. Ivir, this guy's an OG. He's, he's, he's played this game uh, for a very long time. But he's doing sort of the everything bagel uh, beadsman. So 96, wow, that's a lot of damage. I'd like to see some more accuracy on that because... A lot of the mercenaries he's going to be attacking are going to have more agility than his accuracy, and he could get countered, especially as the melee start to hit level 8, level 9, level 10, get that shield as well. If you're watching Hyvir, let's let's see some accuracy on that beadsman. Whoops, I just went all the way down. This is the other alliance here. So these guys, Halo, they all follow a very similar formula. These are all multi-accounts as well. They've got... Level 7 page, same sort of idea. Level 5 brave, that's naked. It's just slower than me. More accurate than me, but uh, the HP is a little lower too. So I'm just sort of doing this to get a feel for who I'm going to hit. Um, but I'll stop for now. This is not the most entertaining thing to just watch me spy everybody. So... I've got nine attacks. I need 131 to rank. I will rank today. Um, I don't remember if I double rank. Again, this is that HD amnesia I was talking about. And normally, especially early in the season, you do want to wait for the Alliance battle. It looks like it's being done around 6 p.m. server time, and it is 9 a.m. So I don't really want to wait that long. So I'm going to just hit my page now. And I know it's not the, you know, maximum amount of of nobility points will have you know maybe five to ten percent less but i want to ensure that i win my battles I, I do see some vulnerability in my page i could easily get critical for example by one of those multi pages if i choose to attack them today and so i'm probably going to allocate to hp so i can have that extra insurance and i want to get to that level nine sword where i gain that advantage as soon as i can so um I'm going to pit this guy early, and I'm going to put some HP on him when he hits level 8. I really do have HD amnesia, man. Shit's crazy. 2, 3, that'll do it. And, and this is a lot of HP. But, uh, yeah, I'm about three, almost 300 now, right? Yeah, 297. And, uh... 228 to get to level 9, and I think, you know what? I'm going to hit a couple targets first, and then come back. Or at least hit the 1, 
the guy with the um, Stavesman. So just to double check, I Brave, I am 68 defense, 22 agility, good amount of HP. So I feel very comfortable attacking this guy here. Whoops. Uh, let's go to the spy for that. Iman Elbon, I think this was the guy that had, yeah, 59. So I've got 68, and I've got a lot more than 11. So I'm going to launch this one. I don't know if he was on retail, though. Let me just see. Nope. All right. So there's one. So this actually worked out more favorably. This is at 30 speed. An important thing to, to consider is speed is also very relative. 30 speed is not a lot when you've got mercenaries that have 50. But when mercenaries have, I think he had like, what, 7 or 9 speed on his melee, and I have like negative speed on, on my brave, that 30 speed really stands out. That attack rate is just so quick. So all three lines are green, and I nailed him for a crit. So I think it's two more battles, and my brave hits level 6. I do want to get a hammer on him. Again, as insurance, let's see if we can do any of these guys here. Spy Null. So 183, 39. So this is, you know, these are a little risky. Um, you know, he could easily crit me with the excessive accuracy, but I do have more HP. I do have 100 plus more HP, and I would hope that I could get him before he gets me. So... I'm going to launch this one against Nuln. And there it is there. See, so now we've got a little mix of black and, and green. Green being my attacks, of course, and, and black being his. And um, there it is. Critical hit. Plasma hit me for 67 damage. I still have 230 left. But I was able to, to take care of business with him because I had the extra HP. So I lost 100 and what, 116? And he lost 183. So that was actually pretty close. I just happened to have more HP and uh, was able to survive. So again, it's just the survivability aspect. How am I going to win my battles? Every time you press that button to attack somebody, you've got to know how you're going to win the battle. You've got to have an idea in your mind of what it's going to be like, what it's going to look like. What do you expect to see? And that's not always going to happen. Like, trust me. But at the same point in time, you, you want to know what to expect, what you're expecting. How are you going to win a battle? Um, let's see. So, is yes, 18 speed, 183. And accuracy is a lot, man. But, yeah, I'm about 66% quicker. And I've got the HP. I don't love doing these attacks. Like, I could easily get critted and die. Was he retaliation eligible? Yes. No, he was not. None of them are. All right. So this one went a bit better. Because um, I am faster. To more of a degree than I think the last one had 20 speed or something like that. So we've got to level up. I'm going to pause and take care of that. The Brave is level 6, which is excellent. I'm going to equip it first and then uh, just see. Oh, all oh, the cloth gloves. Never mind. Don't want to go cloth. But we're starting to see some stuff. I'm just actually curious. I saw some sold mercenaries yesterday. It must have been scooped up. Um, right. So level 6, buying a hammer. That's really going to help my, uh, my, my Brave last longer it's going to slow it down and it's not going to get countered it's going to also be able to provide some counter damage as a form of offense um and again the 1391 gold like i'm not sweating any of that um if i had not allocated a salary maybe it's a little tighter i don't know and i'm going to pick up the arm armor as well and shield is upgradable at level seven so i've still got a thousand gold to play with which is great because i'm gonna get the level nine sword very soon so we're looking at my stats now, and I've got 66 counter damage. I can counter anything up to 132 defense if needed. I don't recommend it. Again, if I were to attack somebody and rely on counters to win, I would probably attack somebody at, at most in the like 80 to 100 defense range, and they, they would have to have like 40 counter defense. If they had, say, 50, I would want to carry more HP. Um, 
My agility is kind of low here, 18.4. As you saw some of the accuracy numbers on the other mercenaries I've been spying, I am going to put these four points into agility. And uh, I'm not going to allocate to HP yet because I'm not really relying on the Brave as a win con. And I don't like the people I'm attacking aren't going to attack my Brave. They're going to try and counter it, or I'm going to counter them. But I'm fighting mounted versus mounted at this point. So I need 144 points to hit the next level. We'll go up to the Gladiator Pit, and we'll just get there. I think we can pretty much get close. 31, yeah. So once I do my bonus one, I should be able to get that sword again. You know, to those who are min-maxers and, and judging, it's just I want to ensure that I get the most nobility points. I don't need to have the highest XP mercenary. That's not important to me um, at this point because I'm not keeping this guy. So I'm just using it to get where I need to go. There's level nine right there. I'm gonna go grab a sword, HD Amnesia. I'm also gonna grab a body. Uh, kind of tempted to go heavy, to be honest. I didn't get level eight either or level seven. So I'm actually due for a full swap of armor. I'm not, uh, sometimes I for, I'm forgetful. I'm going to, hmm, a lot of accuracy to lose. I don't have a lot of accuracy to begin with. Let's just roll with the armor. I can always enhance, if anything. Uh, leg, we'll do that. Shield, we'll put the agility. And arm, we'll do that. Now, HD Amnesia is going to have a whole different look. 713 gold. Could not do this without salary. Again, 360 left as well. And again, I'm not going to be repeating this strategy. So these pieces of armor are useless to me. They can go to the merchant for just quick cash flow. If it was something, if I were to continue to run mounted like this, then you could, you know, as a trick, just save that armor and weapon and um, run it right back once you hit the next buy level and swap. But again, I'm, I'm going to be doing something very different at buy level nine, which hopefully I will record. And uh, I'm going to sell this uh, level five sword as well since we're here. Might be a good deal for somebody who's raising like a squire. And, uh, before I allocate it, I just want to take a look. So 82 damage now, 34 speed. I think it's time to get some accuracy up. So we'll do that. I'll get into the 30s in that range. So it's about 34 accuracy, 53 defense. Um, I'm going to enhance just a little bit. I don't need to, I don't think today, but just to show you again what gold can do gonna get this to 85 and how much defense did i have on this it was like 53 right 53 so we'll get it to 60 and uh, a lot of the mounts i'm attacking have 58 damage so um and one hands evenly because i don't want to pay more than i have to it's five um, six seven but i've still got 359 gold and 85, 60, 34, 34. Looking good, right? 300 HP. Shit. Accidentally put the leather cap on. <laughs> and I enhanced it. Oh, all right. Well, you know what? That's all right. I'm going to roll with it. I don't... Yeah, that was an accident. That was a total mistake. I was not paying attention. Um... Go back to the registry here. So now the rest of this should be pretty elementary. Uh, Alliance Spy. Just want to double check. 58, 183. So you could crit me, but I'm much faster. And I've got the HP. And I've got your damage covered with my defense. So this should go my way. I'm expecting to just beat up his mounted. And then just destroy the brave that's naked. Could get countered though. Or sorry, critted. But that did not happen here. So 28 again. Britain has the same kind of setup, I would imagine. There it is, 58, 42, 183. But tomorrow is going to be a little more challenging with my targets having level 9 swords. Um, but that's tomorrow's problem. I'm sure I'll come up with a way through that. So Britain, same deal. So I've ranked up again. That puts me at buy level 5, which is wonderful. I just want to see if I'm going to rank again. I always forget. It's that HD Amnesia. So no, because I have nine attacks, I will not rank again tomorrow. I will come pretty close. Uh, 
112. So it'll be about what 48 away, I think it is. If it's uh, a little early here, my brain's not fully going yet, so don't judge my half if it's off. <laughs> By the way, um, the interview is happening tonight for last season's champion, Forshard. Shiny and Chicken Eater 3 have got that coming your way, and uh, I'm sure they'll post it on the Discord. I'm really looking forward to hearing that interview. Really want to get some insight from him and, and hear about, you know, uh, some of the challenges he faced last season and how he was able to sort of come out of nowhere and, and really like surprise everybody and, and play just a really solid season. So no analysis really required here. It's the same. These are all the same guys, the same mercs, the same risks, very much possible. Like, see, there it is. Critical hit, 79 damage, 218 left. That's why I have the HP. Maybe I have a little too much, but I I just don't want to play around. So uh so that's done. Q. Um just see who else I've hit here. Gia, just want to double check. Yep, that's good. There's no retail available. They have even less HP, so that should be quicker. There it is. Three liner. Goodbye. Um Gia Miska. Same, it's this, you know, copy paste. 28 again. So I'm just focusing on the same kind of target. I think that's where people really go wrong. They they have their setups and they try these like attacks or they attack people they like to attack or people who are fun to kill because they did well before. But I think it's really important early on to just sort of stay in your lane and just figure out, okay, who am I built to kill? Who am I supposed to kill here? And just stay to that. You have plenty of time to kill the people you want to kill later in the season. This is someone from the other alliance who also has the same setup. 18 speed, 183, 39, and naked. Melee, so we'll hit them. Actually, let's see what our friend Forshard has. See, this is an example of something where I could attack him and... I've got a better Merc, I've got more HP, got more damage, got more defense even, more accuracy, more speed, right? But why would I attack him? Like, he beat me last season, and oh yeah, you could, you know, and I think I have uh, our first day battle logs against each other public just for fun, but like, this is where it's like, this is still too risky. This is a lot of damage, he could easily hit me first and cause a lot of problems, so... You know, I would be favored to win this battle against Four Shard, but it doesn't make sense to attack him because this dude here, Nath, is worth the same amount. So I'm going to attack them instead. And hopefully I'll get Four Shard later this season. And there it is. There's a level up again to finish the day. 28 nobility points gained. And that's the Brave, which is great. I can actually get an upgraded. Uh, shield and i can slow down even more which is great and the armor i'll leave that in there might use that again later when i get to buy level nine so um agility still kind of low hey 23.2 but i don't really need the agility per se if i'm attacking the way i'm attacking um, you know what? I'm just going to do a little bit of both. HP and agility. Sometimes I don't need that wild of a swing. And I've still got 319 gold to play with. Yeah, look at that. 94. All right. That should be it for my attacks today. I've got my allocation points. I'm 48. Yep, the math was right. I need 48. Um, and if memory serves me right, day 5 is, uh, I think it's 34. Five is the maximum. That means on my second attack tomorrow, I will be by level seven, and it might put me in range to by level nine. Let's double check that. Uh, let's just see. Did I max out today? Two fifty-two. Yes, I did. Uh, As rail is going eleven attacks, That's why they've got three hundred eight, and uh, these folks have ten. Hivir, shiny, Aoba, and then there's a group of us here who. 
for the nine attack gang, we've all maxed out, right? 541, so Cantaloupe, Grim Reaper, Self, and Gibby, the Rad, Maltese Falcon. <laughs> it looks like another Smurf sort of name. Yeah, 28 days old. Oh, Bounty Hunters. Ah, uh, okay. Wow. Brought that back. Uh, yeah, I think that's all I've got today. I'll do some jousting. So you can watch that. But uh, the goal tomorrow would be to max out. I think I would need... Let's just clear this out here. What is it? 35, I think, is the max. Times 9 attacks would be 315. 541 nobility. So hopefully tomorrow I'm at 856. Which I'm not sure if that gets me to rank 8. But... Uh, rank 8, 799. And I said this was 856. So I will double rank tomorrow. I will hit by level 9 tomorrow. And that's going to be very interesting to see how I play that. I'm not actually sure what I want to do yet. I've got two mercenary slots. And I will be selling both my Brave and my uh, Page. But I've got to figure out, do I buy a Strongman and an Arb? And target non-mounted players. Do I have enough targets to, you know, get a good amount of nobility points with that setup, or am I better off getting a defensive cavalier and a strongman and playing two defense mercs, which is very hard to do, and putting like a sword on the cavalier or something so that it can attack the lower buy level mounted? I'm leaning more towards that, but we'll see. Um, but I don't think I have much else. I'll, I'll do some jousting here, and uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Berwick, Colchester. Just waiting for my Avalon. There he is, there. So 5 out of 10 is the best way to bet. Um, that's your positive expected value. I'm a degenerate. I love the highs and lows of gambling, so I'm going always uh, Avalon as an underdog, slight underdog, and I bet the max. And I'm about to lose a bunch of gold, probably. Oh, maybe not. You know, 529 I ended with, and I started with 319. So what is that, 210? Plus 210. Solid. Solid, solid day. Not that I need the gold, but uh, I got 529 gold. And I will be getting 1350 tomorrow. So I will be at, like, roughly almost 1900 gold to start tomorrow. So. Again, that might seem like too much, and, and perhaps it is, but it's going to help me buy my buy level 9 mercenaries with no problem. It's going to help me enhance any armor defense that I need to enhance tomorrow to beat other targets. Like, if I'm attacking other pages tomorrow and they've hit level 9, how can I get an advantage on them if we have the same kind of armor and equipment, especially in the beginning of the attacks? And I do that with salary. So uh, that's all I've got for today. I um, Again, I just really it would urge you to consider your setup um and what it's built to do really like role play those battles out in your mind of how you see that victory happening and if there's any doubt or well there's always a little bit of doubt but if if you have a you know a fair degree of doubt really think it through twice um, and just remember again who your setup is built to beat my setup is built to beat Stavesman because I've got the Brave. It's also built to beat Mounted that are um, behind in development compared to mine. I want to strike fast. I want to have good health. I'm not as concerned with the accuracy as I would be if I were building a Knight, for example, because the agility I'm trying to kill is going to be something like this, where it's like 11. So if I have 24, 34 accuracy, it's not as important. Um, the HP and the speed. I want my attack rate high, and I want to last long in case I get critted. Uh, and that's that's how you you know play this specific setup. If I were to run a defensive bow and a um, and a Whitman, I'd be looking to pick on every single grinder possible. So I think it was uh, Achilles that had that setup. I'll just double check. Yeah, so he's got a tavern fighter, and he's got the bow. So his bow is going to block all the mounted, because the bow has an advantage against mounted, and those stats are, are fairly strong. 
And then he is just going to absolutely crit the crap out of all grinders and probably most braves. But uh, I don't like that setup anyway because it's just I've never been a person that's uh, loved the attacking melee. So hope this stuff has helped. Um, thanks for your time. I'll be back hopefully tomorrow to take you through my transition to buy level nine. It'll be a very important day in my season. And uh, I've got to figure out what I want to do when I get there. So stay tuned for that. And as always, like I said, the Discord link will be in the description. Hit me up there with any questions, DMs. I'm always open to talk HD. I love this game. Uh, until next time, peace.